now it's time to have a, a look at how we actually physically set all this up uh, in our studios. Marcus, would you do the honours and take us through how we get everything plugged in and how we get the software actually ready to go? Sure. Okay, what we see here on this block diagram are the different general scenarios that we have. So we have our PC or Mac with the maybe DAW installed on it, but definitely our automatic alignment software, which is then via network connected uh, over a network switch to the individual loudspeakers. So KH80 in this case, DSP loudspeakers. And the, the DSP loudspeakers, of course, are connected to the audio interface via analog uh, signals. And to the same audio interface, also the MA1 microphone is connected to. A different scenario is that we have a subwoofer within the system with the KH80s and combined with the KH750 DSP. We have actually the same, just also the subwoofer is connected to the network switch and the signal coming from the audio interface goes via this KH750 DSP to the loudspeakers. The rest stays the same. There's one small difference. If you have an arrangement like this, you can also, instead of having analog connection from the audio interface to the subwoofer, you can also take an AS3 digital signal. Yeah. Next step is to show how all these components are connected together. We need to connect the PC with the audio interface, in this case via USB. So then we connect the microphone to the audio interface. Then we have to create the Ethernet connection of the PC to the network switch. Like this. The settings on the back of the KH80s put to network control, so one of the lower positions of the left, very left switch. The control mode of the KH750 from local to network. The network connection between the switch and the KH80s. The audio connection via XLR. The audio connection from the audio interface into the subwoofer and from the subwoofer to the loudspeaker. The third scenario is having instead of the KH80 DSP monitors, you can take analog loudspeakers 120, 310, 420 and all the system correction takes place inside the subwoofer. And this is the really sexy thing about this software because you can take your existing hardware that you have with the analog loudspeakers adapt it to a 750 and then you allow them to be automatically aligned and having phase linear systems 120, 310 and 420s. Excellent. As they say, take my money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Marcus. That was absolutely brilliant. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I hope you now feel more confident being able to tune the Neumann monitors. So once again, Marcus, brilliant. Thank you so much.